Hi, we are discussing the first numerical from the exercise for the chapter gravitation. So let's start. Now the question says at what distance below the surface of the earth, the acceleration due to gravity decreases by 10% of its value at the surface. Given the radius of the earth is 6400 kilometers. So let us try to understand this story with our diagram. So first thing we measure the acceleration due to gravity at surface and we represent it using the symbol small g. One thing to keep in mind that if this is the center of the earth and this is the surface of the earth then the distance between these two points is equivalent to the radius of the earth and we shall represent it using the symbol re. So distance between center and surface is equal to the radius of earth. After this from the surface we decided to go a distance d inside of the earth. So now we are at a depth d uh, from the surface and is point per jab humne acceleration due to gravity ki value measure ki to wo value different hai kuch usme variation aya and we are denoting that changed or varied value as g d. So as per the question hume bataya gaya hai ki the decrease in the value of acceleration due to gravity. So decrease in the value means original value minus the recent value so g minus g d is equal to the 10% of its value at the surface value of the acceleration due to gravity at surface is represented by small g again so yaha se hume milta hai g minus g d is equal to 0.1 g because 10% is 10 upon 100 which is 0.1 and if we calculate aage to hume milega g d is equal to 0.9 g because g minus 0.1 g would be 0.9 g and we get the ratio between the two accelerations that is gd upon g as 0.9 and this is our first given quantity. The second quantity jo hume question mein di gai hai that is the radius of the earth. So we represent radius of the earth with the symbol re and this radius is said to be 6400 kilometers in length but kilometers is not an SI unit so let me convert this into its SI unit so 6400 kilometers become 64 into 10 raised to 6 meters where meters is the SI unit for measuring length and we are required to find the distance below the surface of the earth where this decrease in gravity is 10% so, we have to to find the distance d. We have diagram this distance in our diagram. So, we have to find this distance. So, this is we are finding distance below the surface. Cool. Now, let's try to understand what sort of formulas we can use to find this distance. Sum dekkar aapko ek andaza ho gaya rega ki this is the sum uh, where we discuss the variation of gravity with depth d. And jab hum ye concepts pad rahe the, the variation in acceleration due to gravity at depth d ka formula was gd is equal to g that is the acceleration due to gravity at surface into 1 minus d upon r where d is the distance below the surface of the earth and r is the radius of the earth. So if we substitute the given values in this formula we will find our distance below the surface. Okay, now let's uh, start the calculation process. So the first thing we write is from formula 1. So let's bring our formula which we have So if you notice this formula is in the format where we get the value for gd. But we need gd ki value, we need the distance d ki value. Chahiye. So let's quickly rearrange this formula so that we get the value of d. So if we divide both the sides by uh, g, so our LHS would be GD upon G and our RHS would be 1 minus D upon R because GG would get cancelled. So we'll rearrange this formula once more. So I get D upon R is equal to 1 minus GD upon G. So GD upon G ka value hume given hai. As we know it's 0 0.9. So let's substitute that value. So from given we can say that the d upon r is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9 uh, 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1 so from this we can say our distance d is equal to 
0.1 into the radius of the earth so r e so we have just switched this earth and we have substituted the radius of the planet as radius of our earth that is r e because r e ka value hume given hai so 0.1 into 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meters that's the value for the radius of the earth at the surface so 0 0.1 into 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 becomes 6.4 into 10 raised to 5 so this is the value of d in terms of meters but let's calculate the value of d in kilometers so 6.4 into 10 raised to 5 meters is 640 kilometers as 1000 meters is 1 kilometers so this is our final value for d uh, which we are representing in its most popular units that is kilometer so the d that is the distance at which the acceleration due to gravity decreases by 10 percent is 640 kilometers that is your final statement if you want the pdf of the solution make sure to check the description thank you